You guys asked for it. So here is your tutorial on the vertical upgraded version of the carousel. So I want to give a shout out to all of those who gave awesome tips and shortcuts to make this easier by using frames and control D for duplicating. I'm not going to use control D just for I want people to see me actually duplicate duplicating a page. So for that though, um, I did use frames for these. I use circle frames and I have my carousel already lined up. Um, if you don't know how to do it, I will put a link in the corner up here so you can see the carousel if you need to more instructions on how to do a carousel. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this page two more times. So for each, I guess, stage of this, you want to have three copies of it. So you're going to have the, the first, the middle, and the end. So the middle one, what you want to do is you want to go in here and you want to just make it bigger. Whatever size you want, you want to go balls to the wall and make it huge. So we want it bigger and we want it. Let's kind of. Get it. Yeah, I'm slow pokey. All right. So that's what we want to do. So when we look here, it's going to go. I don't have the match and move on it yet, so that's why it's kind of choppy. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, after that, you'll go ahead, and of course, you're going to duplicate the page again, but you can do all four if you want to, to have the next one to move up, but I just, to not have confusion, I don't duplicate that till I'm ready to do the next, the next set. So what you want to do is, of course, detach all these. If there's an easier way to do that, please put it in the comments. I would love to know. Um, detach the image and put it, I usually put it right beside where it's supposed to go. And that way I can keep track where I'm supposed to go because I can get confused. We'll put that one there and then we'll just work our way down. Uh, detach the image. That one goes there and that one's going to go there. And I'm going to detach this one. And this one's going to go here. This one's got to come over here. And I will detach this one and move that one to the center and then move that one over here. And then what I'm going to do is make my two extra ones. So I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to duplicate. And then what I'm going to do now is go to the one in the center. And what I'm going to do is make my circle bigger. And... And then that's that. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go and finish this design and building this out. And then I will come back and we'll work on the second part of this little fun little upgraded carousel. If you're enjoying this video, please consider hitting that like button down there and also subscribing to the channel for more and fun and interesting tutorials. Now that I have my carousel built out, what I want to do is I want to go in between here and put my transition in. So I'm going to push the transition button. Um, Canva's being a little mean to me today. Um, and I want to do match and move. I want to apply it between all the pages. So once I do that, I want to go up here to my timing. I want to put them there at 0.5. Enter apply between all the pages. So as you see here, my last page is also my first page. So that's where I got my whole round carousel. 
So now what I want to do now is I want to test my carousel. It's going to go a little fast. Everything's looking smooth. Everything's looking great. Um, what you can do also, if you're highlighting the ones because they're enlarging, what I did with mine is I just put change those and I made the bigger ones like one second because I was, you know, you want to see that they're highlighting. Um, you can do that. You don't have to do that. That's up to you. Um, if you want to highlight them and add more time to them, just so they sit there for a second or two, that's up to you. You're the creator. Have a blast. Make it beautiful and wonderful. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the second part. So what I want to do now is I want this to stop here. And then what I wanted to do is I wanted to move off. So what I want to do now is I'm going to duplicate this one here. And what I'm going to do is shorten this one up a little bit because I just want it to look like it stopped there for a smidge. And then I want it to kind of move off. The next ones are going to fall behind real quick like. So what I want to do here is I want to go here. I want to click this. I want to go into animate. Click my bumblebee. I'm going to hold down the shift key. And what I'm going to do is go all the way off. All right. All right. It did a line. It's not really showing me anything. Um, this feature right here today is being really mean. So I had to cut the video there and kind of play around with Canva and see <laughs> if the animate button is going to work. So we're going into animate. We're going to click our bumblebee. I'm going to hit my shift key and I'm going to go across for a straight line. There we go. Finally, it took a million times. I had to refresh my page and do all kinds of stuff to get that to work. So I'm going to do the steady as always done. So the next thing we need to do now is we're going to duplicate this page. When we duplicate the page, the animation is going to go with this center frame. So that makes it easy. You don't only animate once, get your speed and everything you want going the way you want it. And then it's easy peasy. The rest it's, it's going to, when you duplicate, it's going with the rest. So what we're going to do is we're going to detach this image and then we're going to trash it. And then what we're going to do is just move the rest of the carousel around. Put that one there. Detach this one. And we're going to put it down here. We're going to take the chair. We're going to detach this one. And stick it down here. And we're going to detach this one. And then we're going to stick it in this one here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to delete this first one. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to do it again. We're going to duplicate the page. We're going to go and we're going to detach this image here. We're going to trash it. We're going to detach this one and move it up. Up. Detach this one. Move it down. Detach this one. Move it down what we're going to do is we're going to trash this. So you get the gist of what I'm doing. So what I want to do right now, since Canva is being very, very mean, is to make sure that it's working. Ooh, those are going super duper fast. Um, so let's uh, take these here and kind of give them some more time on there here. So let's go to, we'll see, to point, round point 0.5. Around a 0.5 thing. Let's see if that's just that. Woo, that was super duper fast. There you go. That's better. And you're just going to do that for the last one. You're going to go. You're going to go. What well, we got this one now. So we'll duplicate that. And then what we're going to do is detach this. Trash it. Come on up. Detach. Move it on up. I don't want a copyright track. Um, detach image. Put that down. Click this. Trash it. Duplicate the page. Do the same. Detach the image. Trash it. Go here. 
detach the page. I'm going to lose. And then trash this one. And it should be all gone. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, and off they go. Um, if you want them to kind of stop there for a second beforehand, you could always put a short frame of them still with no animation on it. That's up to you. Just do, if you want to do something like that where it stops. So we'll take this one. So what you want to do is what you would do would duplicate this page here. Where you would get this and then go here, go here, and then just take the animation off of this one. Delete the path. And then if you want to just like a short bump where it stopped there for a second before it moved, just go in here and put like a fraction of a second in between it. That way it will give you a slight pause where it stopped and hit versus it kind of going that way. But, you know, that's very easy in, to do that. So that's how I did that trick. Thank you for sticking with me, even though Canva was not being very nice today. But I still love you, Canva, and I love you guys, and I thank you for stopping by, and I hope I answered your questions. If not, leave them in the comments. If you're from the Canva Design Group, you know where to find me. Hit me up. Thanks for stopping by. Hit that like, like button. Hit that subscribe button if you have not, and come back soon. Bye.